I always grew up saying data knot, but when I went to NASA, they told me it was a NASA data knot. So I right. go by the book. So what is a data knot or a data knot? I think it's a fancy word for data scientist. I studied at the George Washington University, systems engineering, that's my background. So when it comes to numbers, that's, that's what I'm really good at. And so a data scientist, we really get to go around the world empowering young girls so that they have interests in STEM. It's about the ages between 8 to 11 is when girls, they, they lose interest. They're not really shown that it's something that is really cool and something that they can be doing all the time. And so my job, I get to go around doing that, but I also get to create different innovation myself. So I get to play with a lot of numbers and a lot of data. And last year, I also got to attend our second uh, launch and la successful launch and landing to Mars, which was a really amazing event because I got to share it with the world. Wow. Uh, so STEM is science, technology, engineering and maths, is that it? It is, yeah. yes. And you're going to use your profile, as I said in the opening, to encourage girls to take up maths and science subjects. Absolutely. I mean, I just don't think that you have to choose between your interests. Yeah, I love being uh, Miss Universe Ireland and I'm super excited to be representing Ireland on December 8th at Miss Universe. <laughs> I love your energy, I love but your energy. energy. But I'm also just excited to be able to share my platform, which is all about encouraging women in STEM. Because mm. the thing is, it's, it's a boys club historically. But I also get to work in those spaces and I have an amazing time at my job. It's probably one of the coolest, it's the coolest thing I've ever gotten to do. Now